morning. Today, in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate about sockets. Here, I'm gonna discuss about what is a socket, socket addresses, system calls of socket in TCP and UDP, client server implementation in TCP and UDP. First, what is a socket? A socket allows communication between two different processes on same or different machines. To be more precise, it is a way to talk to other computers using standard Unix file descriptors. They exist on transport layer. They provide point-to-point -point and two-way communication between processes. Processes communicate only between socket of same type and are in same address domain. You can send and receive things on socket. Many application level protocols like FTP, SMTP and POP3 make use of sockets to establish connection between client and server and then for exchanging data. Socket addresses. Process to process delivery needs two identifiers. One is IP address and the other is port number at each end to make a connection. The socket address defines process uniquely. The widely used socket address domains are Unix domain and internet domain. Unix domain contains two processes that share a common file system or communicate with each other. Internet domain contains two processes running on any host of internet communicate with each other. Socket system calls in TCP. The transmission control protocol is one of the main protocols of internet protocol suite. TCP does flow control and require three packets to set up a socket connection before any user data can be sent. It handles reliability, congestion control, error checking and error recovery. There are five system calls in TCP used to create a socket, identify a socket, on the server, wait for an incoming connection, on the client, connect to the server socket, send and receive messages, close the socket. Creating a socket. To do network I.O., the first thing a process must do is to call the socket system call, specifying type of communication protocol desired. This function creates a socket and returns a file descriptor for socket on success, otherwise returns minus one. This system call has three arguments. Family refers to the type of address family. We generally use INET for IPv4 and INET6 for IPv6. Type refers to the type of sockets. There are generally four types of sockets, but we use two, stream socket and the datagram socket. Protocol refers to the type of protocol. Binding a socket. The bind system call assigns a name to an unnamed socket. There are three arguments in this function. The first argument is the socket descriptor written from the socket system call. The second argument is the pointer to the protocol specific address. The third argument is the size of this address. This call returns 0 if it successfully binds to the address. Otherwise, it returns minus 1 on an error. Listening for the connections. For listening on sockets for the connections, the listen system call is used. There are two arguments for this function. The first argument is the stream socket descriptor and the second argument represents the size of backlog queue which is the number of incoming requests that are waiting for the connections. Accepting connections. Accept is a system call that is used for accepting socket connections. This function has three arguments. The first argument represents the socket descriptor. The second one is the pointer to socket data structure. The third one represents the size of the address. On success, the system call returns the socket descriptor that is valid for a particular connection and on failure, it returns minus one. Connecting to sockets. The system call that is used for connecting to the socket is connect. This system call has three arguments. The first one is the stream socket descriptor. The second one is the pointer to the socket address data structure. It refers to the address to which socket is to be bound. The third one is the size of the address. Socket system calls in UDP. User datagram protocol is a simple connectionless communication model with a minimal number of protocol mechanisms. In UDP, the client does not perform a connection with server like in TCP and just instead sends a datagram. Datagrams upon arrival contain the address of sender which the server uses to send data to the correct client. There are five system calls in UDP used to create a socket, identify the socket, on the server wait for the message, on the client send a message, send a response back to the client, close the socket. 
creating a socket. Socket system call is used to create an unbound socket in the specified domain. There are three arguments for this function. The first one is the domain which specifies the communication. The second one is the type of socket to be created. The third one is the protocol used by the socket. This function returns socket file descriptor binding the socket. It assigns address to the unbound socket. There are three arguments to this function. The first one is the file descriptor of the socket to be binded. The second one is the structure in which to be binded to is specified. The third one is the size of the address structure. Sending message to a socket. Send to is the function used to send messages to a socket. There are six arguments in this function. The first one is the file descriptor of the socket. The second one is the application buffer containing the data to be sent. The third one is the size of application buffer. The fourth one is the bitwise order flags to modify the socket behavior. The fifth one is the structure containing address of destination. The sixth one is the size of destination address structure. Receiving messages from a socket. Receive from is the function used to receive messages from a socket. There are six arguments in this function. The first one is the file descriptor of the socket. The second one is the application buffer in which to receive data. The third one is the size of application buffer. The fourth one is the bitwise order flags to modify socket behavior. The fifth one is the structure containing source address is written. The sixth one is the variable in which size of source address destination is returned. Closing a socket. Int close is the function used to close a socket. File descriptor is the only argument for this function. TCP server client implementation. If you are creating a connection between client and server using TCP, then it has few functionality like TCP is suited for the applications that require high reliability and transmission time is relatively less critical. TCP rearranges the data packets in order specified. There is absolute guarantee that the data transferred remains intact and arrives in the same order in which it was sent. The process here is server and client both create sockets. After creating socket, the server socket binds the socket to the server address. Then the server socket is kept in passive mode. Now the client socket approaches the server socket to with a connection request. Then the server so socket after accepting the connection request establishes a connection between client and server and they are ready to transfer data. UDP server client implementation. In UDP client do not form a connection with the server like in TCP and instead sends a datagram. Similarly, the server may not accept a connection and wait for the datagrams to arrive. Datagrams upon arrival contain the address of the sender which the server uses to send the data to the correct client. Now the process here is the server creates a UDP socket and the client creates a UDP socket. The server binds the socket to the server address and wait until the datagram packet arrives from the client. Now the client sends a message to the server and it waits until the response from the server is received. Now the server processes the datagram packet and sends a reply to the client. Now the client processes the reply and if necessary it will again send the message to the server else it will, it will close the socket descriptor and exit. Thank you.